of a bit of this. That would be ideal. He's gone for the bank, thinking he had a two-way shot using the eight as a blocker. But it looks to me like Geffen can see this ball. Thank you. Because Geffen's a bit of a hustler. Prevail in the match, but in the race to five, you can't make a single error because against uh, Efren Reyes, <laughs> when you lose, you, you kind of lose. It doesn't matter who you lose to. One of the uh, snappiest dresses he has. So he's got the James Bond look today. Uh, here's the MC, John McDonald. What? <laughs> Hello, pool fans. Today we are taking you to Cardiff, Wales, for the World Nine Ball Championships in 2001. Witness the clash between the legendary Efren Reyes and a young, confident American player. What? Who is the 1995 Billiards Digest Rookie of the Year? George Ginky Sansui. Get ready for a thrilling battle of skill and pride, and big shout out to all Pooh fans in Cardiff, Wales. Like this video now and let's dive in. George wins the lag, breaking the ice with the first rack of the game. After a powerful break shot, the young player leaves himself with a seemingly easy 2-9 combination to secure the first rack. Surprise! With a promising start, the rookie efficiently wraps up the first rack, sealing the deal with a quick 2-9 combination shot against the magician. In the second rack, George comes up dry on the break, and Efren Reyes showcases his skill by initiating the rack with a great bank shot on the one ball. Now it's Efren's turn and the table is all open. Let's see if he can clear it out. Efren got out of position here but he still has a long shot on the 6. The World Nine Ball Championships took place from July 14 to 22, 2001 in Cardiff, Wales. And Efren Reyes secures his first point of the match, flawlessly running the table. Now moving on to Rack 2, George demonstrates a skillful safety play on the three ball. Contact is no problem. He was trying for a safety behind the George has an opening here. Really, you're playing the maestro. Efren managed to kick at the three ball, but left an opening for the young player. Draw shot here on the orange. Back and forth shot. At this time, George Sansui is 30 years old. He is a rising star from New York, America. He was given the nickname Ginky by his mother when he was young because it was the first word that he said.
Oh, oh my goodness. That's uh, not at all characteristic of George Sansusi's game, but... <laughs> but something truly unexpected happens here as George misses the nine ball. The young player just committed a significant error in this crucial race to five game. In Rock 4, Efren takes his first break shot. See some guys going around as though they had a field of light, not Efren. He makes a ball and gets good position on the one ball. He wants to make sure he's clear of that with his shirt. I reckon he could put balls, blindfolds, standing up. And he's looking really sharp at, at this moment. Lenning is in this tournament throws at it and they go in. Well, I gather that by the time you at this time of the tournament, Efren Reyes is 47 years old. In his uncle's pool hall where he learned every Players don't gamble with Efren, they donate to him. <laughs> Efren takes it up, 3-1. He's only the Filipino magician makes a statement with a flawless break and run out. In Rock 5, Efren Reyes is in the lead with 3 rocks to 1. Look for Efren just to cruise around this corner. Decided to play it up table. Efren delivers another strong break. Sinking two balls and setting himself up with an open table layout. He's just gonna take the long shot. It's just nothing for him. Bridge is no troubled water for him. Look how comfortable he is with that. Yeah, it's a, it's a stroke. In this short race to five and at this level of play, a single mistake could prove costly in the match, especially when facing Efren Reyes. And just like that, Efren Reyes is now on the hill, leading 4 to 1. George has been sitting, contemplating how he missed the 9 ball in the previous rack. Efren snaps him off for us. He's dry. We now proceed to rack 6, but for the first time, Efren did not make a ball on the break. This is a big opportunity for George Sansui. Uh, give tips to kids on the tables around the sides in the pool village. Yeah, they have a lot of fun with the kids here. The kids George really grew up in Yorkville, New York, and began his career as a player well, at Chelsea the Billiards. Around the table. That's smart play. With the knuckle, i.e. in the top spinning right wood. He was recognized for his promising potential yeah, attributed to his exceptional putting skills and powerful he's break. Not even an easy shot to make. He's made it. He but he left himself clear. with a challenging shot on the five ball here. Well, the uh, most obvious adjustment of angle it's needed. Oh my goodness! That was a long, tough shot at this stage of the match. Look, he's gotten some good fortune. He gets to come back to the table. He was already in his chair. What? Obviously, George up. missed the five, but flew it into the opposite corner pocket. I bet he's logged that one now. George knows he's fortunate to be still shooting. And In the game of nine ball, flicking a ball is still counted as a good shot. Yeah. Put the cue down. Emphasizing that luck is indeed a part of the game. Four, two it is. And that is George has added a point to his score and is now trailing two rocks to four. You have to learn everything as quick as you can. George puts his all into the break, makes the two ball, but he's being punished. He's being punished for that good luck. We move on to rock seven. George made a ball, but does not have a shot on the one. He's pushed out to a jump shot. So instead, he decides to push out here. 
Efren Reyes is not a fan of jumping, so he passes it back to George Sansui. Here we go. He's gonna. This the ball shouldn't be rising when he hits. Pool fans, if you have reached this far, don't forget to like this video and comment where you are tuning in from. Thank you very much. Seems to be aiming for the cut. He overcut it. And he's left a shot if the pink doesn't get in the way, but the pink says hello. Well, Efren went for the cut and missed, but got lucky here. Again, he's looking for something to hide. Well, now. Oh my goodness. Wow. He's left. Efren Reyes has been aggressive here, but to no avail. He might be giving a lot of chances for this young player. Four. Slide around and go three rails. He's gone three rails. And he's got a shot on the three. He's done well. Nice. That's a class shot. George spots an opening here. Let's see if he can capitalize and get out from this situation. Again, finesse control needed. He's gotten there. You couldn't do any better than that, Sid. Yeah. And George executes a well-played positional shot here for a 5-6 combination shot. Six decided to go around the world with the cue ball to get back. This uh, last passage of play by And hold on, Pooh fans, because something really interesting happened here. Watch as the young player aims for a shot on the five ball next. But if you have reached this far, Pooh fans, like this video and comment where you are tuning in from. Thank you very much. He misses it. He'll be sitting forever. Oh, he's decided on the safety. He's going to hide him behind the brown. Pretty hard play there, George. Now he's going to live to see another day. Well, you've got to have a strong dose of the smarts against this guy. A brilliant decision to play safe on the five ball here. A very well executed defensive shot. Let's see if FN has a response for this situation. <laughs> it's simple. That's why he's so successful. All he's got to do is drive that to a rail. Now look at the touch he played there. I mean, he drove that ball right up to a rail, made it as tough as possible. <laughs> you got this But the magician comes up with a very simple yet effective safety shot here. And the young player was impressed by what Efren did. But the young player refuses to give up and watch what he does in this situation. That would be ideal. He's gone for the bank, thinking he had a two-way shot using the eight as a blocker. But it looks to me like it's uh, like he, like Efren can see this ball. George went for a two-way shot, but still left Efren with an open look on the five ball. Let's see what the magician has in store for us. The tongue of a poisonous lizard. Oh, oh come on! Run! Magician at work! <laughs> if you can't cut it, bank it. What an incredible move man, from the Sunday. magician. A phenomenal cross corner bank shot on the five ball, which catches the young player off guard, showcasing Efren's unexpected brilliance on the pool table. Comment GOAT if you think Efren Reyes is the greatest pool player of all time. Thank you very much. And in the end, the more experienced and skilled player emerged victorious. Efren Reyes takes the match against the young player George Sansui with a score of 5-2. Mika Imunen secures the 2001 Nine Ball World Championships. Thanks for watching, full fans. See you in the next match. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you very much for watching. God bless everyone.